Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Charita from Purdue University. Uh, today, I'm going to present our work on merging similar control flow regions in LLVM for performance and code size benefits. Conditional branch, uh, branches with uh, similar computation is, computations is very quite common in real-world code. This uh, code similarity can come in uh, different varieties. Uh, for example, you can have straight line code with similar or identical computations in the if and else section of a conditional branch, as shown in this example. Also, you can have uh, control flow regions inside the if and else uh, sections of a conditional branch with, with uh, similar co computations, as shown in the second example on the right. So compilers actually like similar code because we can optimize them. Uh, we can use a similar code to optimize the performance and code size. So in this, ca uh, in this case, we can use, uh, in this example, we can use uh, similar code on the two sides of the conditional branch in order to reduce the code size. Here you can merge the two additions and two multiplications with the help of select instruction to get the uh, merged uh, uh, instructions on the right hand side. Uh, and if, uh, if this is uh, profitable in, in, uh, uh, in terms of a cost model, we can uh, use this transformation in order to reduce code size. Uh, another application of uh, similar code inside conditional branches comes in the GPU domain. So we know that GPUs use sim uh, SIMT uh, execution model. So in SIMT execution model, when we have, have a divergent branch, uh, we have to serialize the execution of the divergent paths. So in this case, basic block A uh, has a divergent branch, and we have to serialize the execution of basic block B and C in order to make progress. However, uh, basic block B and C can have a lot of common instructions in them. In this case, we can exploit this and we can merge these common instructions and execute them convergently in order to reduce the latency and uh, improve the performance. So ex uh, modern compiler pipelines actually have a lot of transformations that exploit code similarity in order to uh, uh, improve the performance or code size. One such example is code syncing. Idea here is you move the common instructions at the end of basic blocks into their common successor. Similarly, code hoisting uh, applies when you have common instruction at the beginning of the basic blocks. In that case, you can move those instructions into the common prede predecessor of these basic blocks with the help of potentially select inserting select instructions. Now, what if, if you have common instruction scattered throughout the basic blocks in the two parts of the conditional branch? So branch fusion was proposed to exploit this opportunity. Idea here, idea here is that you take the instruction sequences of these two basic blocks and you try to align them in order to find the similarity, the entire similarity of the instruction uh, sequences. And then you move them to convergent basic blocks as shown in the right hand side uh, to either reduce code size or improve performance in the case of GPU applications. However, none of, uh, most of these techniques that I described only look at the similarity at basic block levels. What about control flow regions? So to exploit this opportunity, we pr propose new transformation called control flow melding. Idea in, uh, uh, or CFM in short, idea in control flow melding is to look at isomorphic control flow regions with similar computations inside and try to merge them in order to redu reduce code size or uh, reduce control flow divergence in GPU programs. So uh, this is, uh, the example shown here is a CUDA implementation of Bionic sort. It has a divergent if and else branch with uh, control flow regions inside with similar computations. And its control flow re uh, graph is shown as well. As you can see, regions uh, C to G and D to G are isomorphic, which means they are structurally similar. And you can merge them in order to uh, reduce code size. Uh, in, uh, you can merge them in order, in order to uh, reduce control flow, flow divergence in this case. Uh, and you can obtain this merge control flow. Uh, so this merge control flow is uh, simpler and it has less divergence. And also, if you apply the same technique into C programs, you can, uh, since you are merging instructions and control flow, you can potentially reduce code size. So the first step of our transformation is actually identifying single entry, single exit uh, regions in a uh, CFG. For this, we can use the data structure uh, or representation called program structure tree. 
So program structure tree is a hierarchical representation of all the SCSC regions in a control flow graph. And we can obtain this information using LLVM's region info interface. So for the example uh, CFG shown in, shown in this slide, uh, we have four regions. The, uh, the topmost region is region A to G, and it has a subregion B to G, and B to G has two child regions, uh, C to G and D to G, which we are interested in merging in this example. So next, we need, we, we need to define what are meldable regions. So uh, two SESC regions uh, need to satisfy a set of conditions in order for, uh, for them to be melded. Uh, the first condition is they should be inside an uh, inside if, uh, if then else conditional branch. So they, they should be dominated by a conditional branch. And there shouldn't be a path that goes through both the regions. Uh, the next condition is uh, entry blocks of the regions must post dominate the, either the left or right successor of the conditional branch. This makes sure that we are only considering the largest regions contained within the if or else section for the uh, merging transformation. And the most important requirement we consider here is that the region should be structurally similar. They should be isomorphic. And we do not consider uh, merging non-isomorphic regions because that, that's a very complex problem. Uh, so uh, inside the if-then-else branch, there can be multiple isomorphic regions. Uh, so how do we decide which regions to which region pairs to merge in this transformation? For this, uh, we define a metric called melding profitability. Idea in melding profitability is uh, given two regions, SCSC regions. Uh, you want to measure the similarity of the two regions. For this, we look at the corresponding bas basic blocks of the isomorphic regions, and we look at the instruction pre frequency based on the instru instruction frequency, whether uh, we decide uh, how much similarity is there in the two regions. So once we have this metric, we can use some kind of a sequence alignment algorithm in order to align the regions within the uh, if and else section. So for in, in this example, one of the example alignment would be merging region A to B with region E to F, and region B to C with region F, uh, F to G. Now, once we have uh, two aligned region pair, uh, we still need to compute uh, an instruction alignment in order to generate the code. So for this, we use uh, instruction alignment algorithm, uh, such as the smith waterman algorithm, so we can define a basic block correspondence because the two regions are isomorphic, and uh, we can linearize the basic block and take the instructions and compute an alignment. So in this example, aligned portion of the instructions are shown on green, and the red portion so shows the un unaligned instructions. So in the alignment computation, we uh, consider two things. Uh, for two instructions to be aligned, their opcodes need to match. They should be compatible. Uh, and the other thing is uh, we also consider the instruction cost. So uh, costly instructions are, uh, has low, high, high priority to be aligned together uh, than uh, lower cost instructions. And we solve this problem using smith waterman uh, or smith waterman algorithm or any kind of sequence al alignment algorithm can be applied. And the, uh, once we have the alignment, code generation is actually straightforward. We, first, we start off by uh, 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 generating the merged control flow graph. And then we fill in the, control, uh, the basic blocks in the merged control flow. Uh, using the instruction alignment. For each aligned instruction pair, we generate a merge instruction. And we may might need to add extra select operations in case the uh, input operands of the aligned instructions don't match. For the unaligned instruction, we have to execute them conditionally by adding extra basic blocks and branches, because some of the instruction might have side effects. And we consider the cost of doing this uh, in our cost model. Uh, we need some extra preprocessing to ensure the correctness of this transformation. So consider this example. Uh, in here, we are interested in merging region R sub T with R sub F. Uh, in, in this example, uh, definition X uh, dominates uh, its user at, at definition instruction Y. So if you naively merge them, uh, that will break the uh, diffuse chain, and it will break the uh, SSA requirements. So in order to solve this, we, uh, we rely on extra phi instructions. In this case, we add a new phi instruction, which will dominate both the regions. Now we can uh, actually safely merge the two regions in this case. Uh, also, uh, another consideration is how to handle phi nodes during the merging. So in this case, we are interested in these two isomorphic regions. So how do we deal with the phi nodes? We can't really add select instruction before phi instructions. Therefore, what we do is we actually copy the two phi instructions and then allow other passes to optimize the phi instruction away in this, if they can be simplified. Uh, 
So uh, we implemented this transformation as an LLVM IR uh, transformation pass because we want to test this on different applications. Uh, we have two variants of the uh, implementation, one for uh, CPU code size reduction and one for GPU control flow diverge re reduction. In the CPU implementation, we process all the eligible if-then-else branches. Uh, we use uh, target transform into, uh, transform info uh, code size uh, interface for obtaining the instruction costs for instruction alignment, as well as evaluating the code size before and after the transformation. So we basically, we apply the transformation for each branch. If it reduces the code size according to the cost model, we will keep the tra transformation, the changes. Otherwise, we will discard the changes. So in the GPU version, we only process uh, uh, divergent if-then-else branches, and we rely on LLVM divergence analysis to figure out which branches are divergent. And here we use custom instruction latency cost model to evaluate the profitability. Uh, for GPU evaluation, we measure the speedups on AMD platform. Uh, we compare again uh, full optimization, with, which is O3, and uh, branch fusion implementation with full, full optimizations. Uh, we use seven benchmarks, which are taken on from well-known uh, GPU benchmark suits. Uh, this shows the speed up the speed ups that we obtained uh, for uh, different block sizes across uh, uh, all the benchmarks. Uh, so uh, we uh, we see that uh, uh, this transformation uh, uh, actually increased the speed up uh, relative to branch fusion as well as uh, the baseline, uh, and uh, the ability to improve the performance comes from its ability to re um, merge regions uh, at control flow region level. Uh, for the CPU code size reduction application, we uh, measured the reduction in text section of the final bi binary in x86 uh, platform. Uh, we compare again OC uh, optimization level. Uh, here we use three benchmark suits, MeBench, Spec 2006, and 17. Um, so uh, this shows the reduction uh, that we obtained in bytes for MeBench. Actually, the reduction, code size reductions were modest, but we found several cases that CFM can actually reduces the code size uh, significantly. Uh, the observation is similar for spec benchmark in terms of code size reduction. Uh, the reductions are uh, actually modest. Uh, however, uh, we, uh, we think this is useful because uh, the compile time overhead was limited and can be improved. And also, there were no significant performance hit uh, by the transformation. Uh, so uh, in summary, uh, I can say that similar co code inside conditional branch is quite common in real code. Uh, however, traditional compiler techniques uh, cannot uh, fully exploit the opportunity here. So we propose a new transformation called control flow melding, which can merge control flow uh, at region level. Uh, our LLVM implementation of CFM shows that it, uh, it is very useful in several applications. Uh, so our code is open source, and you can contact the authors using the websites. Uh, and uh, I'm also uh, graduating soon, and I'm looking for full-time roles. So if you are looking for compiler engineers, I'm more than happy to talk with you. So I'm open to any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Questions, please. We have two microphones on each side of the room. Or raise your hand, and I'll help you with the mic. Hey, thanks for the talk. Um, rough idea, how, what's the impact on compile time doing this? Yeah, so we measured the compile time for GPU and CPU separately. So for GPU applications, the compile time was not significant, like less than 1% uh, uh, for the kernels that we considered. Uh, but for CPU, it's significant. It, the average was around 10%. And we saw like uh, sometimes like 3x slowdown because uh, we have to compute an alignment of instructions, right? But, uh, but our implementation is uh, not that optimized for compile time. There are, we know how to optimize it, so we can hopefully bring it down. Uh, right. But of course, I agree that it, the compile time overhead it can be significant in this case. Right. And, and on a GPU case, you started with, n like, only with divergent, um, like, with divergence information to begin with, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we only process divergent branches. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks for a great talk. Uh, in the uh, code size re reduction part, I forgot whether you explained, but you show the reduction in bytes, right? So what's, uh, what's the percentage? 
compared yeah. to the whole binary size. Yeah. So uh, as I said, the reductions were modest because uh, our transformation applies to conditional branch in potentially really large functions. And for some function, it doesn't even apply. So the, the, the results I shown you is uh, the size reduction in bytes for the final binary. So the average was around 1% and we, the maximum was around 5%. So yeah. Yeah, thank you. And another quick follow-up question. So can you talk a little bit more about the instruction latency model you use in the GPU divergence analysis? Yeah, so we found that actually, uh, so we couldn't really use the LLVM-based cost models because that's basically used for vectorization passes. So we found that uh, some, some of the instructions, such as like shared memory instructions, merging them is much more ben beneficial than actually merging global memory instructions. Therefore, we had to prioritize them. So they have, that's why we kind of try to use a custom, like a hard-coded uh, cost model, but it, it's not the most accurate cost model. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I would like to invite the second student technical talk to the stage.